Hello Barstow, happy Friday, I'm Elise Finn. I'm Alex Archer, it's Friday, you know what that means. Yes, it means it's French movie night tonight. French National Honor Society and French Club are showing Le Petit Nicolas tonight at 6.30. Come out for some treats and a great film. Starting today and going through tomorrow is the Kansas City Community College Tournament of Champions Debate Qualifier. Good luck to the Barstow debaters that will be competing. Speaking of competing, Barstow fifth grader Julia Lecce is a national finalist for the My Dreamvention competition. Let's head over to Kaylin and Julia to hear more. All right, thank you. Julia Lecce is a fifth grader here at Barstow. She invented the Storm Sleeper and is now one of the top five finalists chosen out of 13,000 submissions in the My Dreamvention competition. So Julia, how did you get involved in this competition? How did you hear about it? I was watching YouTube and I saw it on Ellen, so I entered. Awesome. Uh, where did you get your inspiration to make this invention? Well, I've always been afraid of storms, so I would put pillows around my head. And then when we had to make a fourth grade invention, I came up with the storm sleeper. Awesome. So now that you're a finalist, what will happen if you win? Um, I'll get $250,000 and a meeting with Robert Herjavec from Shark Tank. Amazing. So what do you plan on doing if you win the 250k? Um, I'm going to save it for college and donate some. That sounds like a good plan. Well, thank you so much for joining us on BTVN and telling us about your invention, and I wish you the best of luck. Make sure to go online to MyDreamVention.com and vote for the Storm Sleeper. You can vote once a day until November 27th, and there's a chance for you to win $1,000 with each vote. Good luck, Julia. Now back to the news desk. Super cool, Julia. Barstow's Claire Boma and Dylan Markey were recently selected out of nearly a thousand auditions for the 2018 Southwestern Division Honor Choir. They will rehearse and perform in Oklahoma City as part of 11 regional conventions in March. Nice job. Let's see what the weather looks like as we roll into the weekend. Hello everyone and welcome to your weekly weather report. So we're going to start off with our uh, current weather here in Kansas City. It's around 46. It feels a little bit cooler than that, but it's not going to drop too much more because we don't have any precipitation. Although we're going to have clouds pretty much all day today, we don't have to worry about that. And then going into the week, we're going to see some temperatures really high this weekend for what we've been seeing. Uh, even with the clouds, it's going to be hanging around uh, high 60s, low 70s. Now, this is what's going to concern us for the rest of the week. We're not going to have pretty much any heat. We're going to stay in the 50s, low 50s, and then as we head into late next week, it's going to continue to drop off. And now, because it is National French Week, we're going to head into the weather near Lyon, France. Um, so it's a little bit sunny, but mostly cloudy. Um, actually, something we don't see a lot, zero wind, zero wind coming from France. Uh, the temperature is going to be around 60 all day. Um, but it's going to be in 50, around 50 this morning. So heading into the weekly weather for Leon, we're going to see a similar thing to what we have going on. High 60s early in the week, and then as it goes on later into the week, it's going to drop into the low 50s, high 40s. Um, something that would be a little more important than we have here is the rain. Um, so just watch out for that, all of you watching from Leon. Thank you, and we're going to send it back to you guys at the news desk. Thanks, Caden. Looks like a chilly week ahead. Please be bringing in donations for the clothing drive happening through November 10th. Two bins have been placed in the upper school commons and all donations can be put there. Speaking of clothing, remember that lost pair of pants from the bonfire? Yeah, kind of. Well, Gia Tucker made a piece about putting your name on things. Let's check it out. Do your pants have your name on it? No, because I don't suspect anyone would want my pants. Some pants were found um, at the bonfire and they had no name on them, so... What if that were to happen to your pants? Uh, do those yarn needles have your name on them? Uh, they do not. Why not? Because they don't belong to me. Put your name on things, otherwise they're going to get lost. They're going to be like those stray pants that were found at the bonfire. Lost. Nice job, Gia. A reminder that daylight saving starts this Sunday, so make sure to set your clocks back an hour. 
That's it for this week. I'm Elise. I'm Alex. Thanks for tuning in, Barstow.